Sometimes during a merge, conflicts may occur. A merge conflict happens when the same part of the same file has been changed differently in two branches. For example, if you modified 1.txt in the main branch and someone else modified the exact same section of 1.txt in the development branch, Git won't know which version to keep. In such cases, Git flags the file as having a conflict and you will have to resolve it manually by deciding which changes to keep or by merging both versions yourself. Right now, we are on the main branch. From here, we will create a new branch so that the main branch remains untouched while we simulate a conflict. I run the command git branch staging to create a new branch named staging. This branch now contains all the latest updates from main. Then I switch to it using git checkout staging. While working on the staging branch, I open my file system and go to the file named 4.txt. I add 4.4 at the end and save the file. When I run git status, I can see that the change is being tracked. So I add and commit it by running git add dot and then git commit slash m changed 4.4. The staging branch work is done. Next, I switch back to the development branch by running git checkout development. When I open 4.txt here, I don't see 4.4 I added earlier in the staging. So I write 4.4.4 and save the file. Then I run git add dot and commit it with git commit slash m added 444 on 4.txt. That means the development branch now has its own separate change. Now, while staying in the development branch, I try to merge the changes from the staging branch using git merge staging. But git fails to merge automatically and shows an error. This happens because the same line in 4.txt was modified in both branches, staging and development. Git can't decide which version should take priority. In this case, the developer working on the development branch has to manually resolve the conflict. When you open 4.txt in a text editor, git marks the conflicting section clearly showing which part came from staging and which part came from development. You'll see both the double four from staging and the triple four from development. It's now up to you to decide whether to keep one, remove one or combine both changes. Let's say you choose to keep the triple four. You remove all the conflicting markers, save the file and then run git add dot followed by git commit minus m merge conflict solved. The commit message is merge conflict solved. Now you switch back to the staging branch using git checkout staging. When you open the file system and check 4.txt, it still shows double 4, meaning no change has been applied yet. At this point, you can choose to merge changes either into staging or development since both branches are now in sync. Let's say we decide to resolve it from staging. We run the command git merge development. This time, git merges everything smoothly without any conflict because both sites now contain the same content. When you check the status using git status, it shows everything is clean. If we want to bring these merged changes into the main branch, we switch to it using git check out main. Once we are on the main branch, we notice that 4.txt doesn't yet have the latest update. So we merge the staging branch with git merge staging. Immediately, all the latest changes flow into the main branch. The double four from staging and the triple four from development now combine perfectly, resulting in the final merge version. And that's how the entire process of merging and resolving merge conflicts is completed.